steps left. Okay, getting on the track. We're trying out Bridgestone's new V front tire. See how that feels? Under uh, braking, turn in, all the usual things. Blend in with traffic here. I'm gonna get a feel for the tire first. I've never ridden this tire, so I wanna see with a V tire if we're gonna get chronic over, excuse me, chronic oversteer because the profile is obviously a lot less rounded and I'm used to rounded front tires, not V's. So this is my first time, so let's get a feel for it. Obviously you'd expect it once it gets on its side to be there. And that's a real subjective word, but you feel like the tire sets in on the side with a V front is the conjecture so the thing that i'm concerned about initially on my first lap for feel is how quickly do i turn the bike and how much further do i have to move my turning point because it's got a lot more initial flick onto the side of the tire so so far i can definitely feel the difference but surprisingly, very surprisingly in fact, coming over the top and flicking transition left to right like we're gonna come up here in 11, 12, 13, it gets over the top very easily. And you'd think it would be harder to pull it up and over to get to the other side, but it's not. Oh, that's really interesting. Geometrically, I've changed the fork, so I've raised the front end to compensate for the smaller front tire. So now that that's got some meat in it, let's give it a go. Turn one is one of the fastest turns. Oh yeah, I had to just feel that out for a second. It's definitely different. very very different once it's on the side of the tire going in it feels like there's a lot of tire there so some of the statements people make are that you feel like you got twice the edge grip and I can see subjectively why people would think that absolutely think that but it's much easier to get the bike to, to actually turn in. So a lot less bar pressure. A lot, wow, a lot less, holy crap. When you force it, so you gotta be through seven, just ever so gentle on the bar pressure, same in eight. I mean, we're doing damn near 100 miles an hour through here, so. See, I missed the mark because I was too early trying to put it into the corner. Wow, that's so much feel on the tire. I don't know how the carcass is looking under deformation from braking. But it feels really, really solid the heavy braking there which probably points to the rigidity of the carcass on the sidewall but the top is giving me some really really great feedback I mean really great into one that's better it's timing that's all it is is timing getting the timing right Turn two's long so I can feel the carcass now. Yeah, the sidewall feels really stiff. I'm at 30, 
32 off the warmers. Maybe it feels just a little stiff. Maybe the sidewall could be just a hair softer over some of the high speed bumps. Maybe that'd be interesting to take down just a pound out of it and see how it feels. But coming down here, the tire really feels like it keeps its shape. Little trail breaking into six. I don't feel that much deformation of the carcass. That's surprising. I can't get it quite right in seven yet, but that's okay. In early freight, yeah, that's no problem. Over the top of nine, turn beautifully through there. Neutral throttle until you stand the bike up. Yeah, it doesn't want to push wide either, so the geometry's got to be close. It's got to be very close. Now, look how quick that transition's over there. Yeah, that's fast. Maybe I'll be switching to a, uh, a V front. Lots and lots of feel off the top of the carcass. I can understand why everybody really likes this. doesn't when you get hard on the gas it doesn't change its feel on the front even though obviously the front end fully extends so I must have the geometry right but yeah it's a little maybe it's a little soft I don't know that's a tough one we'll have to play play with pressure it's definitely skipping there over the high speed huh. yeah I'm missing my marks because I'm feeling the tire No, that's definitely either too soft or too stiff on the sidewall. So, I should have gained a couple, so 34, maybe we'll drop it. It's easy, always easier to drop the hot pressure, so we'll drop it to 32. That's better through seven. Much better driving to eight. Much better. Come on, Mr. Dirt, there she goes. That's it. I still got to get nine right. Wow, that's interesting. So let's go in and take a few minutes to think about what to do with the tire pressure. But geometry is within a millimeter, that's for damn sure. All right, so easier to go down in pressure so we'll take a PSI out of it later this afternoon and try it again and see how that feels later and as always look for the full report at feelthetrack.com under testing program and the Bridgestone V front <laughs> 